these is just literally what I need to survive. So I feel like it's easy to get out of your comfort zone. Friday. I hope you guys had a great week so far. My week has been not so bad. Last weekend I, lo I lost my voice so I'm just now like at the point where I feel comfortable speaking a little bit more. <clears throat> you might hear it a little bit a little scratchy or whatever and I might have to take some breaks throughout the day to not use my voice and to continue to drink tea and all that good stuff. Last vlog was about getting back on track after the holiday, after Thanksgiving. I felt really, really crappy. I had no motivation. There was just so many things going on with myself that just really affected how I was going through life and affecting mom life. I'm constantly checking in with myself to make sure that i'm filling my cup that i'm doing things that are going to make me feel good whether on a daily basis or weekly basis whatever that may look like for that particular time like i need to reevaluate and see what i need to change so it's the end of the week and i just figured now would be a good time to like see what i can do self-care wise just to make myself feel good, make sure that I feel happy, make sure that I feel like I am a priority. Like sometimes it's okay to be first. It's just literally what I need to survive, to thrive as a woman, as a wife, as a mom, like you have to, like you can't always put yourself on the back burner because you're eventually gonna feel it you're gonna burn out you're gonna feel mentally drained mentally exhausted and also like that affects your health too and i think people forget that i think people forget that being stressed out being burnt out like that's gonna affect you physically and internally as well and that's just not a good place to be and you want to make sure that you're healthy because your family depends on you and you know, you, you want to live a long life i just got this elf um glow reviver lip oil it's so pretty i don't know if you can see it hold on let me put my glasses on please so that i can see it life to your lips try the lip oil so after last week, I was just feeling like just not good. I bought a walking pad and I was talking about this walking pad for so long and I decided to just get one. I was like, you know, Angie, you need to get it together. You're not going to the gym. You're not able to, to go outside for walks. It's too cold. I made this little concoction of hair oil. There's like um, herbs in here for hair growth and healthy scalp and stuff like that so i'm just gonna put this on because i need to wash my hair and part of my self-care for today is going to be 
doing a treatment on my hair and blow drying my hair. I love being consistent with getting in my steps for the day. Like that helps me to be more accountable. But I'm also getting the walking pad just to make sure that I'm moving my body enough. And sometimes you don't realize it, especially like being a stay-at-home mom, a work-from-home mom. And also like I want to really get serious about my weight loss like i'm not in a comfortable weight well last week i weighed in at 170 it's not a healthy weight it's too heavy for me and i just i don't feel good in my body it's been an interesting ride but i feel like i do have to be a little more disciplined but sometimes during mom life i get overwhelmed and you know no one's cooking my meals i was on my walking pad i did a little reading Friday nights, I actually am part of a book club for special needs moms. The chapters are super short, so it's a very easy read. But because I was sick last week, I didn't get to do book club, and I didn't do the reading. Probably, I'll probably wash my hair during lunch. I'm not sure yet. I'm still debating um, because I don't want to do my hair so late in the day. Or maybe I'll just do it at 5, like as soon as I clock out. I don't know. But um, also, I was debating about whether or not I should do a workout because I like to do weights at least four times a week. I'm already three or four pounds down since the last vlog, which is great. And I know that what I've been doing, what I've been implementing is working. It is almost time for my break. I'm going to have a banana. I need to fuel my body for a workout. But I don't like to eat anything too heavy. I make my pre-workout. This Oxy Shred. I notice when I take this, I feel a lot more hungry through that throughout the day. And I guess that's because it's like burning, like help burning the fat, burning the calories, whatever. It doesn't like make me feel itchy or anything like that. Want to try their oxy shred um the ehp labs oxy shred in the can because i watch a lot of gym girlies on youtube and this is how i learn these things so change into my workout clothes i don't think i'm gonna wash my hair no, I think I'm gonna wash it later because my husband actually just ordered us chipotle for lunch this is if you seen my last video, these are the leggings I got from Gymshark. Um, I don't have a mirror in here anymore because this room is under construction. And so we got closets installed here, but it, it's not done yet. And so my mirrors are currently downstairs. These leggings are so stretchy and so soft. This thick band here, so it kind of holds in the gut a little bit um if i were going to the gym i would wear this with the oversized t-shirt but i'm at home so i like to be comfortable <clears throat> i want my workout clothes to be a little cute but also like functional and feel good for me when i'm doing the workout so i don't have to worry about things rolling down or rolling up or not getting like a good stretching especially when i'm doing legs that's why i like to try different fitness brands and just seeing what i like and also like getting out of my comfort zone a little bit so i feel like it's easy to get out of your comfort zone at home and then you feel and you build that confidence within yourself and then eventually if you feel like you want to go outside like this go ahead I'm going to do a youtube workout i have been really enjoying sydney cummings on youtube she has short workouts super super motivational and she pushes me like throughout the workout
everything takes a little bit of patience. Okay? And you got that. You've got time. Time's going to pass anyway, so you might as well do something that's worth your time. I just finished washing my hair and I'm going to put this deep conditioning mask on. This is from the brand Briogeo, I think that's how you say it. I see a lot of girls, especially curly hair girls, using this. And to be honest, it's a little expensive for like the regular size, but I got this one from Ulta online. And this is the travel size. So if you want to try out a product and it's a little expensive, but you don't know if it's worth the money, Check to see if they have a travel size. Time to enjoy the weekend. I am going to blow dry my hair. This is the blow dryer that I got. How long are you supposed to keep a blow dryer for? Because I legit just got this earlier this year and I had the same red blow dryer for like 15 years. Got this one. I believe I got this one from Ulta as well. And I like this one only because it has this attachment also has the diffuser which is nice I got this one because of the attachments and I didn't want to get like two different um, dryers for like if I do want to diffuse my hair which honestly has not happened in so long only thing that I don't like about this is that the button is like so close to the top right here so when I'm like blow drying or maybe it's just the way I'm holding it but when I'm blow drying I'm always pressing it by accident my husband decided to take the kids they're getting ready to leave now to take the kids to Target and Dunkin Donuts and although I'm like cool makes this self care day even better because I get to have some time for myself without interruptions I low key want to go to Target take the time because it's rare I did a little mini Ulta haul for myself um, and I have been seeing this product everywhere when it comes to blow drying your hair and it's this color wow dream coat Puppy, I'm not going. You go with yes, daddy. Huh? Yes, you No, I can't. I have my hair's wet. Oh. <laughs> I see Bye. 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 No, not tomorrow. I see you tonight. I was looking for maybe he protected. To be honest, I don't know if that has it, but I do have another product. Let me try. So I have this as a heat protectant. It says it's the Smoothing Leave In Cream by Eva NYC. So I'll put this and then that product. So Every time I blow out my hair, I instantly regret it because it's such a workout. So far, it's been a little over 20 minutes. This is what I've got. I'm finally done with my hair. I just put in some of this verb ghost oil works to fight for a smooth and promote radiant shine and i need it my hair is still a little frizzy but y'all you i don't even know if you can tell how thick this hair is like look at this hair 
I did my best. I do not have the best blowout skills, but this does the job. My hair does require the flat iron, the plancha, as uh, us Hispanics call it. I've always been this way. My hair, if I go, if I go to a non-Hispanic salon, they will only blow out my hair, no rollers. They will blow out my hair, and then as soon as, as soon as the air hits my hair, once I walk out the door, my hair like puffs up. So I do need the flat iron. And I hate that because the flat iron can damage your hair a lot. It's not bad. I just, it just feels and looks so thick. 48 minutes to do my hair with minimal breaks. So done with that. So I feel good. I don't know. When my hair is done, I feel good. I feel refreshed. Oh, look, they're driving home. Okay, they'll be here any minute now. That didn't last very long, but that's okay. I got to do my hair without interruptions, so. A win is a win. Um, I clipped my hair in this claw clip. I am running late for book club. It's already 9.05. I really, really appreciate the support. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.